Hagi in Erev Shabbos, Parshas Shalach. Tells Moshe Benu, if you insist, send in Miraglim. Now, Klaisrol, we're at a very high level at this point. The Dora Midbar, the Dora Deo, they knew Hashem, they were close to Hashem. Deo, Das is Hashem, Chibur. And they picked out Anoshim, the leaders of Kali Yisrael, to go into Kali Yisrael to, to scout it out. Moshe Rabbeinu thought it was a good idea. It must have been that they thought it was a good idea. You know, it must have been, it was a good idea. It was a good idea, you know. But alas, not. What were they doing? What were they saying Lashon Hara about? So, Rabbi Breitowitz pointed out that we already had a Nebuah from Nodam and Abiyu, that Moshe Rabbeinu was going to die the moment they came into Eretz Yisrael. And Maragam said, What are we going to do without Moshe Rabbeinu? But we get Yeshua, okay, but everyone knows Yeshua is not a, you know, those are big shoes to fill. So they said, If we could freak out Kyle Yisrael, maybe they won't want to go in. And then we'll get a couple more years with Moshe Rabbeinu. And in like a terrifying way, they sort of got their wish. Moshe Rabbeinu lived for another 45 years, something like that. So why longer? Maybe this is why Yeshua got special brachas. Now, if Moshe Rabbeinu is going around giving out brachas, you would think maybe he knows what's going on. Like, maybe this isn't a good idea. People need extra brachas. So why Dafka Yeshua? It's not that he thought the other ones would fail. He thought that Dafka Yeshua would fail. Maybe Yeshua would come back with a bad report. Because Yeshua knows that if this goes well, he's taking over. And Yeshua felt like, like, who am I to take over from Moshe Rabbeinu? So Moshe Rabbeinu said, you go in there and you get a good report out of that place. At the end of the parish, when we talk about the mitzvah of tzitzis, we wear, we have an extra mitzvah of of wearing tchelas, which reminds us, like the Gemara it, so the Yud Zion tells us that the blue reminds us of the sea, which reminds us of the sky, and if you remember the sky, you'll remember the Kisya covered. So the Kasha is, why not just sea blue, think of the Kisya covered. What's with the sea, and the sky, and then the Kisya covered? Maybe blue is sky, the Kisya covered. What do you need to see in the middle? It's a terrorist I heard from a Frank Shapiro. Is that you can't just jump to sing the Kisya Akab. There are stages in the middle. There's one stage, got the Gashmias down here, one stage, Ruchmias up there. And as soon as we unplug the Gashmias and we plug in the Ruchmias, then we'll be able to see the Rabbanish And maybe this, maybe this answers the Kasha that my, my grandfather. Abbasidi Shubert asked Rav Shmuel Kamenetsky years ago, how come it says, Urisem Oisoi, and you will see it. You're wearing titsis, right? We wear titsis on four corners, right? Our bakanfas, wherever you're looking, you'll see them. But it doesn't say you'll see them, it says you'll see it. So he had one string coming out. I hear, Urisem Oisoi, you'll see it. But I, I just, I read a medrash this week, and uh, it's a medrash, it brings down, based on this Gemara and Saita, that you see, look at the trellis. And that reminds you of the sea. Reminds us to work on our Gashmias issues. And that reminds us of the Ruchnias things. Wow, one second. Now that we got through all the Gashmias things, there's a lot of Ruchnias here. Okay. And once we're at that point, then when we say, soy, we will see him. We will see the Rabbani and we'll be able to see the Kisei covered. The schar of wearing mitzvah tzitzis of Tchelas is to be able to see the Rabbani Shalom Maybe we'll be zeicha to reach our absolute potential and be zeicha to the cool shame of them. Hear of your menu, amen.
Chávez.